Let's talk about the fine art of asking for what you want. And before you roll your eyes and think, well, I already do that, let me ask you this. How many times have you been mad at someone for not meeting your expectations when you never actually told them what those expectations were? I'm willing to bet that has happened more than once. Listen, we have all been there, sitting in silent frustration like, how can they not know? It's obvious. How dare they not read my mind? What the hell is wrong with them? Well, spoiler alert, they can't read your mind. Despite what you may have seen on TikTok, very few, if any, are walking around with actual psychic abilities. Not your partner, not your boss, not your best friend, and definitely not your waiter. Speaking of which, imagine this for a moment. You walk into a restaurant, you sit down, and the waiter comes over. But you don't say a word. You don't order anything. You don't ask for anything. You just sit there, waiting as they guess what you might want. They bring out a burger, but you wanted tacos. Well, now you are furious. How could they not know that I wanted tacos? It's Tuesday. Well, it sounds ridiculous, right? But we do this all the time in our relationships, at work, and even with ourselves. We expect people to anticipate our desires, fulfill our needs, and meet our unspoken expectations. And when they don't, we get triggered. How dare they not know I needed emotional support at exactly 3.47 p.m. today. I mean, seriously, here's the thing. Expecting someone to just know what you need without you telling them, that's infantile. I know it's harsh, but stay with me. It's time to grow up. Part of maturity is being clear about what we want. It's saying, I need tacos, instead of stewing in resentment when someone brings you a burger instead. So let's take this to the workplace. You are stressed because your boss just keeps piling on assignments and you're thinking, don't they see I'm drowning here? No, Karen, they don't. They're busy with their own stuff. You have to tell them, hey, I need help prioritizing these tasks, or I need more time on this project. Guess what? You're far more likely to get what you need if you actually ask for it, instead of assuming that they will notice your silent struggle. And the same goes for our personal relationships. You're mad at your partner for not helping with the dishes? Did you ask them? Or did you just hope they'd magically notice that growing pile in the Sink. Look, most people do not operate on telepathy. I know, shocking. If you need help, it helps if you ask for it. And here's why this is so important. When we communicate our needs, we give people the opportunity to meet them. We also eliminate the guessing game and the inevitable disappointment that comes when they guess wrong. And you know what? It works both ways. The people in our lives aren't mind readers either. So if they're not asking for what they need, we can encourage them to do so. It's a two-way street. Now, does asking for what we want guarantee that we'll always get it? Of course not. But it increases our chances exponentially compared to sitting silently and just hoping for the best. So let's stop punishing people for not fulfilling expectations we never clarified. Whether that's a plate of tacos, a lighter workload, or a little emotional support. Remember this. You are the one who has to place the order. Nobody else knows what's on your menu unless you tell them. Ask for what you want. Listen, the worst they can say is no, and even then, at least then you'll know you tried, but more often than not, you will be surprised at how willing people are to meet you halfway once they actually know what you need. And before you go, let me tell you what I need. If this is the kind of material that you enjoy, I hope that you will take a moment, drop a comment, tell me what you like, and share this with someone else who might enjoy it. Make sure to follow me on social media at Ask Mark Ward and subscribe to my YouTube channel also at Ask Mark Ward.